Hi. Just got a package. Thought I'd take some time and put it on the bike. You know, I've had this saddle, obviously, from the beginning. And I have swapped it out for a couple of others. And I was going back to it. Hi, I'm Arnie, and uh, this is Rad Rover Way. And we talk Rad Rovers. We talk Rad Bikes. We go for rides. We do reviews. If you like any of that, consider subscribing. Click the big red subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new information. And check the show notes for even more details. The old... Velo plush or whatever it was called. I can't read it now. It's worn off. Has, you know, that's the saddle the bike comes with. I've tried. I put a Brooks on almost right after getting the bike. And because I had a Brooks for years when I was much younger. But boy, my butt could not get used to the Brooks this time. I, it could be that. My butt has just gotten too old. <laughs> and I tried a couple of others. Well, I've decided to go it again because if you've been watching any of my videos of late, there's a lot of creaking going on here. And I don't know if the saddle is giving way or what, but um, I just thought I'd give another saddle a try. And I found one that's called the Whitcop Medicus Air. It's a... Uh, Whitcop is a German company, uh, although, as you can probably imagine, in this day and age, it's not made in Germany. Uh, it's made in China, like just about everything else in the world. And uh, it looked interesting, so I thought I'd give it a try. has all these interesting ergonomic design, memory foam, five-zone concept, whatever that means, grip, airflow, um, so let's take this out of here and see what it looks like. The saddle itself, instructions. Hmm, don't know if that's going to be worth anything, but. And it talks about, it gives you different colored. Things here, seating area, raised padded thing, um, no pressure area, comfort area, <laughs> escape area, escape area in green. I don't know if you can see any of this, probably not, but it, it does look comfy, kind of feels comfy, right up front, red cross. <laughs> what could that possibly mean? I don't know. We'll see. I am going to have to remove part of this because it's built, meant to go right on to the seat post. But I've got this puppy on here. And so I'm going to have to do a little bit more work. So I'm going to have to get some tools together and I don't know. It is narrower than the plush. About the same length. I like the fact that it's narrower, by the way. I see people talking about putting the the cloud nines on and that kind of thing. And boy, those things look like they came right out of somebody's living room, which to me does not make for a good riding experience. You know, might as well be a lazy boy. By the way, I did mention this, this is the Medicus um, trekking saddle. So it's a little bit wider than their other, there's three models or something like that. So, okay, well, I'm going to get, gather some tools together and 
get this taken apart. One of the things I'm not too thrilled about is that it's black. I would have liked to stayed with that brown color scheme, but what are you going to do? First thing we'll do is we'll take off, can you see that? That clamp for the seat post. We'll get that out of the way. Try not to scratch anything in case I do have to send it back. Nice thing about buying, buying from Amazon. What are your thoughts about that? I do a lot and I'm not always thrilled with my decision to do that. But it's so convenient that I keep going back. So my thud buster here, I have to loosen the rails up here to take this out. And this is not the easiest thing to do, but we're going to... So I may speed this up because it might take me a little bit of time. On the thud buster, you've got this um, screw thing here and also this one that allows you to move the saddle forward and back. And you can see, probably can see in there, it's the, adjust the tilt as well. So it's a little more complicated than traditional seat posts. I try not to loosen it too much. I don't want them to come out. It's really hard to put them back, to put this thing back together. Clearly, I've forgotten how to, to do this. It's, <laughs> it's a struggle. Okay, let's put this other one on here. Well, this might not work. The rails are not sitting in the grooves up here like they're supposed to. I'm going to tighten it down and see what happens. There we go. That's better. So with the thud buster you need to tighten the front and the back to make for a level and to make for a level saddle and I don't think I'm going to have that much room to play with. There is, the, the rail isn't as long. So you can possibly see when I adjust it, it raises the nose. Looks pretty good. Changing a saddle isn't that big a deal. Well, I think and you'll probably agree that it's time to get on it and see what it feels like. Just a little bit more about the saddle. You can see it's got this center section. It's got this center section cut out here and it has these fins in the bottom that supposedly force air up into your crotch. Not much you can see otherwise. It's not, it's not as, the, the fabric here is not as, uh, I shouldn't say fabric, the surface isn't as smooth and slick as the one that comes with the bike. We're going to give it a short little tour down the block and see what it feels like.
feels pretty good. So you'll see uh, what it's like on a longer ride. So it feels pretty good. Now, obviously, that was just riding up and down the block. There is not a major um, test of it. But I am going for a long ride tomorrow, which I will make a video of, um, on the Snoqualmie Valley Trail. And I'll give it a real testing then, see what it's like. But it, it seems to, I think it's going to do the job. It's pretty firm, not as firm as a Brooks, but it's, it's supportive. We'll give, it a, we'll give it a go and see what it looks or feels like, not what it looks like. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up. You know the drill. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.